Hey everybody, this is Mr. Fincham, and today I am going to walk you through your problem set. So, this is lesson one problem set, okay? Now, today we're going to be doing number one, number two, and number four, okay? So that's it. And we're going to do this quickly. Please make sure that you have your name written right here. That's going to help us know whose paper it is. So let's take a look at number one. Use the place value chart and arrows to show how the value of each digit changes. The first one has been done for you. So let's take a look at this. Okay, here is the thing that we're looking at. Now, we have three and 452 thousandths times 10. And that gives us 34 and 52 hundredths. Now, notice that we multiplied by 10 right, which has one zero in it, and the decimal shifted over, or excuse me, the numbers shifted over one place. So right here, the three starts here, it moved over one place. The four starts here, it moved over one place. The five starts here, and so on. Okay, anytime we move um, the numbers to the left, they're getting bigger. Okay, so if you, let's look at it like this. If you have $3.45 and you multiply that by 10, it's going to give you $34.50, right? So we have one zero, which means we shifted our numbers over one place. That's all it is. And remember, if we go to the left, it makes it bigger. So down below, we have the same number, 3 and 452 thousandths, right? And this helps if you do this. If you put the tenth place, the hundredth place, and the thousandth place, okay? So now depending on where you put the numbers in these boxes, it's gonna change the value of it, okay? So let's write it first like we have up here. So three, there's the decimal, right? Right here. So 3.452 and 52 thousandths, okay? Now, if we're multiplying it by 100, it's gonna shift the numbers this way, to the left, okay? Now, how many places does it shift over? Well, if we multiply it by 10, which has one zero, and it shifted over one place, how many do you think it's gonna shift over if we multiply it by 100, right? How many zeros does 100 have? That's going to tell you how many places you shift it. So here's our three right here, right? So watch the three. Multiply it by 100. One, two places. So the three goes here, and then you just fill in the rest. Four, five, two. And this is our answer for that one. So 345 and two tenths is our answer. So another way to think about this is if you have $3.45 and someone gives you that amount 100 times, you're gonna have $345 and you're gonna have 20 cents left over, okay? So now I want you guys to go and I want you to try C on your own, okay? This one's multiplied by 1,000, so try that one on your own. How many places is it shifted, okay? For D, you're going to explain how and why the value of the 5, that's this number here between the 4 and the 2, how did the value of that 5 change Okay, in A, B, C, and D? So up here at A, right here, the 5 starts here and ends here after we multiply it by 10. So how does that change in each of them? and why. Number two, same concept, except we are multiple, or uh, excuse me, except we are dividing, okay? We're dividing. When we divide, notice the numbers shift to the right. So when you multiply up here, the numbers shift to the left because they're getting bigger. When you divide, when you chop it up, when you divide it, it shifts to the right because it's getting smaller. So initially we have 345. When we divide that by 10, it gives us 34 and a half, which is smaller 
than 345. So let's write the number here for B, okay? We have 345 again, so we write 345. We're dividing it by 100. How many zeros does it have? Well, that's how many places you're going to shift that number over. So 345, if we move our 5, 1, 2 places, drop it down. That gives us, put the decimal, 3 and 45 hundredths, okay? And remember, tenths, hundredths, thousandths. And this is the ones column, this is the tens column, this is the hundred column, and this is the thousand column. It kind of helps me to fill those in before I do the, the placement. It helps me see the value of it change, right? So, if you are dividing, you are shifting your numbers to the right, depending on how many zeros there are. If you're multiplying, like we did up here, you're shifting your numbers to the left, okay? So you're doing number one, you're doing number two, A, B, C, and D, and you're doing number four. So let's look at number four real quick. A student used his place value chart to show a number. After the teacher instructed him to multiply the number by 10, the chart showed 3,204 tenths. So here's our tenths place. Okay, so we put the four there. Zero, zero, two, and three. So this is our thousandths place because it's 3,000, right? Here's our hundreds place, 3,200. This is our tens place. This is our ones place, okay? So if that's the number that he ended with, they multiplied a number by 10, and this is what we got. What did it look like before it was multiplied by 10? Draw a picture of what the place value chart looked like at first.